Hello world, welcome to the 228th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. If you're used to a longtime subscriber on my channel and you're used to my camera, uh, just know I got a new PC and it came with a very large monitor and I just don't know where to put the webcam yet to make it look the best. So just bear with me until I get my camera back up if that's important to you. And so in today's videos, I think one of the issues we're all going to face is the how to identify real images on the internet from a AI generated images. So this video will be in two parts. The first, just a quick tutorial about the library called uh, Pillow or PIL and how to get XIF data from an image using Python. And so that'll just be a quick way if you have the original image to detect if it's AI generated. And then we'll go into a discussion about uh, a site I've seen from a hugging face library called, uh, it, the author is um maybe, and it's an AI detector. And so we'll go into those two, two different things right now. So we'll start off with this Python code. It's kind of real easy. And the first thing you need to do is actually in start, install Pillow. So go to settings and then don't, there we go. And go to your project, Python interpreter, if you're using PyCharm. If not, you can just do pip install Pillow. So Pillow like this and go ahead and install that. And so it's not called pillow when you import it. So from PIL, import image, and from PIL.exif tags, import tags. So we're gonna look at three different images. The first one is this test image that is from my phone. And that's me saying goodbye to General Dynamics where I used to work. So this is a real photo I took with my camera. So that's going to be our image. So we're going to open that. It's in my downloads folder. It's called test. And then um, we're going to get the exif data equals image dot get exif. Call that. So I'll print the exif data so you can see the JSON it comes out of. And then for the tag ID in exif data, the tag name is going to be tags, all capital, which we imported up here, dot get the tag ID and the tag ID. And then the value, and that's because that's a tuple right there. The value equals exif data dot get the tag ID. Then we're going to print the tag name, 25 spaces plus this um, uh, colon, and then the value that's in that tag name. So let me show you what that is. So what we have here, this is the JSON. Each one of these numbers is a tag ID. And up here, we are getting the tags from Pillow. So you don't need to know these codes for each one. The tag ID is inherent in the library. So with this one, we have some data right here. Uh, it was indeed taken by an Apple with an iPhone 14 plus it has the software you took it on the date and time and the host computer which for me was a iPhone and so that's what it looks like with a real test image now I have my location services off on my Apple iPhone and so I took an image real quick with the GPS information on there. So let's take a look at that. So this is with GPS coordinates. Uh, they're actually Apple GPS coordinates. And so that's a watermelon that I grew. That is, uh, it, it's so huge, it's ridiculous. But anyways, so now that we have that, let's take a look at that. So now we have this GPS info right here. So that's new and you can go to Apple 
and look at Apple Geo coordinates and find out that information and it'll tell you the location. I'm not worried if you know where I live. All right, now let's take a quick look at what inspired this whole video. And it was a picture that a family member took. And it was from this site, Heroes in Uniform. And a lot of family members liked it. Uh, said we support our veterans, which is very funny because I'm a veteran and they don't really do anything to support me an actual veteran So the first thing you notice is all of these hashtags have nothing to do with Heroes in uniform. So that doesn't mean it's an AI generated Picture that just means they're trying to clickbait or search bait the popularity of this picture and so we start off, and as you can see, it's very symmetrical. This is what you find a lot in AI-generated images. So the first row looks decent. Let's see if I can zoom up. So you see a little distortion here, right? It's kind of a, a walleye effect with most images. Then it starts to get real distorted in the second row. And by the third row, we're into the just gross and disgusting. Uh, same with back here. And I can tell instantly when I'm looking at it here, but I guess if you're older on the internet, this might be confusing. Um, this is because the machine learning is really hard when it comes to differentiation and randomization. Notice these are supposed to be American troops and they're all white. And that's just easier for AI to do unless the original creator who prompted this uh, unfortunately asked for an all white crew for some uh, political ideologies, uh, which is possible. Next, um, you know, by design, they try to obfuscate words right here. So as you can see, there's no real words anywhere on here. Even the flags, those aren't really American flags. That one's closer. And then it gets really weird here. Look at these. I, I don't know if they're backpacks, but they put human faces on it. So I imagine the AI said, hey, that might be a third row of seats and accidentally put faces on gear or backpacks. So anyways, easily identifiable to AI, to me, but I guess it's hard for people who just want to confirm their biases on the internet. And so I think it'd be great to have a library that detects that for me. Um, so let's, let's make that our image now that we detect. And you'll see you'll have very little EXIF data now. So almost no EXIF data. But this will be the same thing you see if you download basically any image from the internet that doesn't have the original source picture. So you can go to free photo websites and get original pictures. But if you just go to, a, a, I don't know, Google Images and just, you know, snipe a picture by right clicking and save as, then you're going to have this, right? So that's not very helpful. So I did uh, go on the internet and there is uh, hugging faces, right? One of the, this is kind of like the premier website right now for AI and generative LLM technology. And in the spaces is an author named Um Maybe. And they created this AI image detector. And so you can upload pictures so let's go to downloads and upload this ai picture that we just looked at and then submit and so it's 99 percent sure it's artificial all right so let's check our test image the watermelon and check it so it's 90 percent sure that it's human generated and then let's test out this test one right here and submit and now this is slightly less so part of me is thinking that something about this is making it think that it is maybe artificial intelligence that is me I took it uh, when I was leaving um, my employment at General Dynamics and so uh, just curious I wonder if one of the things it's looking for is GPS and that's the kind of code I would like to eventually build. 
And so that's kind of a quick video on AI generated images. It's something that I'm very concerned about, especially as I have older family members on the internet and have scams and things like that. So to me, they're obvious, but I'm a native on the internet and I deal with AI myself. And so it's easy for me to identify quick markers, but it's going to be more complicated as AI gets better. So this is just the start of some cybersecurity code that I want to generate to help me um, or my digital assistant named Shane identify these type of AI generated images. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave some comments on your thoughts about the future of AI generated images. And thanks for watching. Goodbye world.